Laughing with me. It's always at you. That's not very nice. I'm sorry. At all. I'm sorry. At all. You look beautiful tonight. Mm, thank you. You look very handsome. Yeah, I just threw something off. <laughs> look, you look warm. Yeah, I'm trying to get warm. It's been colder. Oh my gosh. Like, I haven't complained as much as you because all you do is complain. But look, you're it never, is. Uh, you're not cold. I'm just always oh no, cold. No, but it's been cold this week because it was warmer and then. Um, what is this? Shiraz carbonate? <laughs> Carbonet? Car carbonate? Tab? Cabernet. There we go. Sinners, but spelled upside down. Ooh, that's clever. You must have paid top dollar for that. Oh, it's cool. It's a cool, it's a cool like logo. I like it. I don't know. How much that's was cool. it? It's like 13 bucks, not quite. Hmm. Uh, it's an extra two dollars for the logo. I'm just saying it is. All right, well, well, well it's another week. Another week, another mm -hmm. dollar. Or another dollar out of my bank account. That's just how it happens. Either way. Anyways, and ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet again another starting to be a tradition here episode of The Drunken Parents. As in tradition, as in we're just doing episodes every week. Yeah. I don't know. Did that makes sense? Well, but Probably didn't make sense. It's okay. So, yeah, this is a program or a show, podcast, whatever you want to call it, where we get together, have a couple drinks, and discuss anything and everything. Yeah. And at the same time, nothing, usually. <laughs> sometimes parenting, sometimes, I don't know. Movies. Movies. Movies always slip in, little always. movie references. Yeah. Because they're great. But yeah, we're just waiting until when you're going to reference, I guess... Um, Thor, Ragnarok, and or um, Deadpool. I'm trying to think of the, these guys' <laughs> names, um, but we'll wait for that. Um, yeah. That reference doesn't count. No. But before we get to that, um, I don't know what. Uh, well, how was your week? That's uh, how we always start. I don't know. How was yeah, your week? How we always start. We don't always have to be the same. We don't always have to do the same thing. It could be different. I'm gonna start by not telling you how my week was. All right. I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> Cool. It was fine. You got a couple of hockey plays in there this week, though. Uh, once one was canceled. So once, oh, that's right. I played once a grand total of one game of hockey. One game of hockey. Played pretty well. Only let in six goals in an hour and a half. Not bad. It's not too bad. No, considering the average age of the players are like sixty-two. But hey, you know, <laughs> make me feel good. Can't win them all, I guess. Can't win them all. No, every <laughs> once in a while, one of these old guys sneaks it through. Some defensive breakdowns let these guys on a breakaway. Oh, it's funny. That's the way it is. But no, I don't know. Whatever. It was just a week. Still one week down in terms of work. Yeah. Getting that stuff done. So we're getting closer to launch. Hopefully, I'm really hopeful it'll be next week or like when one more week we'll be ready to launch live. Um, I don't know. Still have a few things to take care of. So I don't know if it's going to get done in time. I hope so. And... Cool. Once that launches, then it's going to be awesome. I'm cool. hoping anyways. Cool. Do some business trips down south. Do a little bit of that coming up. So mm -hmm. that should be interesting. Down, um, by down south, you mean Waterloo. <laughs> that's down south enough for us. It's like four hours north, south. It's more or, like or four hours five. north. What's that? It's five. Well, no, but that's, I mean, you just mean north because you got to go a little bit. Then once you go down north, then it's just okay. west. Okay. All right. Right? Okay. That is... Okay. Are we done here? Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for stopping by. Appreciate it. We're going to end this before something <laughs> bad happens. <laughs> anyways. Um, cool. Cool. Well, my, Very cool. Well, my favorite thing about this week is that it's officially one month down and only like two more to go of winter. Hopefully only two more to go of winter. No, it's like once March hits, it's like much better because March is... Typically, seasonal, like, average is about zero, so we're going to start seeing. There, there's gotcha. still going to be some. Like, I don't mind if it's because you get the March storm or even in April. So, But it's like, it's only like a day or two, then you know it's coming, and the days are starting to get longer, and yeah. you can just feel it's around the corner. <clears throat> yeah. So it's really once February's done, then the weather just starts to get a yeah. lot, a lot better. So, because it's really, it's... 
December, like November, December, January, February, those four months are the worst. March is like, you know, March break and it's like mm. the snow's melting. <clears throat> and yeah. so anyways, whatever, did the groundhog see his shadow? I don't know. I don't even know. It's like six weeks or two months. It's only like a two week difference. Like, and it's like up here, it really doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, but it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter because it's not true for starters, <laughs> but and there's like so many different groundhogs. Don't like, it's like every town know. have their own groundhog. No, there's the one, there was Wyerton Willie. There's like he, a national one. But he died. Why did they need to just replace <laughs> it with another one? They did. There's a new guy. I forget oh. what his name is. Phil. And then there's this, some guy in the States called, I don't know. It's like Puxatawney Phil or something. I'll have to look know. it up. Anyways. Isn't that, isn't that, that's from the movie Groundhog Day. I don't know. But it's an yeah. actual groundhog that was his name, I guess. But there's yeah. a new one somewhere in Ontario. I don't know where he we is. We should start our Groundhog Day ritual by like eating a Groundhog Day on Groundhog Day. I just kind Day. of feel like it borders on animal cruelty. Like what? That animal is, <laughs> I want to be him. He's treated like royalty. I know, but he's Brought like in the middle of fucking hibernating. Like, do they hibernate? They, I don't know. If I wouldn't hibernate, if I'm just have food twenty four seven, why would like, you? Why would you bother? And how can you tell if he sees your shadow? Well, he, like, is that a serious question? I'm he just obviously saying, maybe he doesn't. doesn't maybe. <laughs> he obviously doesn't. This is just a stupid thing that people do for whatever. I have no idea why. I just can't. They're not like uh, people don't actually think that he but why talks. Do they make, and why says, is it like a thing? Why is it like a big thing? Why are parades a thing? Oh, I fucking hate parades. Why? Why is like Santa Claus a thing? Why is the Tooth Fairy a thing? Someone just made. It up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I think the kids might still be awake. I'm just like, am I saying this too loud? I'm just saying, right? Like, people just make up shit. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> moving on very quickly. <laughs> yeah, but my week was fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> well, I figured you'd talk about it. So, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. How was your week? <laughs> Do you care? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I personally kind of know how your week was. I'm still alive, so it wasn't that bad, I guess. <laughs> I didn't get That's a any bonus. bruises. I don't have any bruises. No, it's a bonus. Just emotional bruises. It's emotional. Yeah, it was all right. It was break week, so that was nice. Yep, break week's was, always great. Yeah, I got Every all, week should be break week. I got all my planning and everything done, and I feel good about it. Next month's going to be awesome, so. Is it? This month. <clears throat> this month. February. Yeah, or it's gonna March is going to be awesome. This month is a write-off. February, God, it's going to suck. <laughs> but next month, I'm ready for that one. February's good. It's good. So yeah, so that was my week. I, yeah, busy planning and but and the kids and I did a lot of stuff this week too. Yeah, yeah. it was good. A lot of stuff. I did some stuff. Did some stuff. I did some things. Well, we went to Science North. Talked we haven't been people. there in like over a month. That's yeah, it's been a while. Weird yeah. for us. Usually we're there every other week. They got rid of the dunk tank. Doom's really sad so sad. It. And if you if you've seen any you of my can't other measure videos, his body fat. Or, well, can nah. I? Wow. Thanks for. <laughs> can I tell my story? Forget what she just said. Go ahead. If you've seen any of my other videos of my completely failed 365 days of fitness, um, well, that's another story in and in, in of itself. Yeah. But anyways. So anyways, um, <laughs> I was measuring my body fat percentage going into this, like we call it the dunk tank, but it's just a water tank where you just basically go well, in. Well, it's a hydrostatic weight well, tank. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Can I continue? So I go in that thing and then it weighs, you weigh yourself on land, you weigh yourself in water and then the fat floats. And I guess that's just to calculate how much fat is a part of you. Anyways, it was the coolest thing in the world and they don't have it anymore because apparently nobody was using it. But <laughs> it was I was at us. least once a month or yeah. at most once a month. Yeah. And, but yeah, they had, I guess they got maybe like, I would say maybe 50 people a year. Yeah, in there, which kind of sucks. A better, it's a but be, there's a better use of space. Yeah, for but there it. isn't. Put, not for me. Not for my tax dollars. Is it? Is it a publicly funded thing? It's nonprofit. No, so but is it? A, I don't know if they get like government government money. funds. I probably, don't know. probably do. Which means it's my tax dollars. So I own okay. that place, and I say. Put so, the tank back no, in. but they're going to do something with cells there, which I think yeah. is really cool. That'll be well, good with the, the kids. If there's like mice, microscopes and they can like look at cells, like that's cool. But there's cool. not even that. It's not like that. It took up that much space. You should, it was the steps and then that was it. Mm, you should see how big of a space it is now. With well, it gone, if, maybe if they decent. took out the shower too, if they took that whole shower area and know. that whole back room. I don't know. Because I think they had some kind of staff room back there as well too. But yeah, if you take that out, because the, they had the whole sidewall as well yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. That even that running up thing was cool because you could time how, how long fast it took you run up to the run stairs. up the stairs. Yep. That was pretty cool. Yep. 
Anyways. Anyways. It's our safe space. We love it. So I'm glad that we got to go back because they were off for like. We have safe spaces they everywhere. Like, they like, they had a two and a half week like shutdown. Size North did. Yeah. Over the Christmas break sometime. Mm-hmm. It was in January. Mm. They wouldn't close down over Christmas break because yeah, that's, that's where the kids, where the kids go. Yeah. Sure. So. Sure. But anyways, so. So yeah, we're excited. We're going back next week. So we're going back. We're going back. So anyways. Maybe I'll come. We're going with another homeschool family. So I'm not going. I guess I'm not invited. No, you're not. Well, screw you guys then. I hope you don't have fun. Fine then. Fine. How's your wine? It's, uh, it's How's your good. thirteen dollar bottle of wine. It's good. It sounds good as last week's. Last week's was really good and I saw That's because I bought it. You know. And I saw there and I was gonna buy it. I was like, mm, I'm gonna try something different. And it re- it's instant just okay. regret. Instant it's regret. Not instant regret. It's, it's still it's, good. It's, it's the, just it's not the as world's good. worst it's, regret. It's not actually. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So this week for our topic. This week. Drum, drum roll. Uh, topic. Drum roll? I'm waiting. Is parenting and marriage. How to make it work. Oh. Well, you're obviously speaking to the wrong person. I don't want to make this show work. Crazy. Dude, dude, we've been married for almost 13 years. I think we know how to make it work-ish. Yeah. <laughs> well, just because we've been married for 13 years doesn't mean that it's working. Is I think, it working? I think it's working. Well, I guess we all have our own opinions. No, no anyways. Anyways, <laughs> no, because I don't know, like having a happy marriage, I think after you have kids is kind of difficult, can be difficult. It's not as easy as before when you don't have the stress of keeping well, you think, another person you th- alive. The thing is, is you think, yeah, like thinking back when we didn't have kids <sighs> and how hard we thought it was back then. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it's like, <laughs> like, oh, if, if just this or this or this would, would come together, everything would be great. And then it's like you have kids and then you're like. Again, not not going back to what we talked about before, not about regretting or anything like that, but just saying like, oh, if we didn't have kids now, oh, <laughs> man, it's just like, could be heaven. Like you'd think of all the things that you but would it, do. But it wouldn't because you wouldn't realize well, you wouldn't, the freedom yeah, it's that like, you ultimately have. It's like that saying when they say the grass is always greener on the other side. It's because it is. Because <laughs> it's true. <laughs> There's a reason why people say it. Because it actually is greener on the other side. No. Because once you've been to the both sides, <laughs> then you realize, yeah, I'm going to go over to that side because it is greener. As I've seen, I've seen both. Okay. And this one is, this is rotten. This grass just not, doesn't grow anymore. Or it's like all patchy and shit. <laughs> and then it's okay, like. Okay. Okay. You are actually talking about our life. <laughs> no, I'm just making a general analogy. I'm okay, just kind of talking. Okay, I'm not okay. talking about our life. Okay. I'm just, this is just in general about oh, in general. the grass being greener. Okay. It's got like ants, hills all over the place. You know those ants <laughs> that you go over the lawnmower, they all come out, they're like, yeah, I want to attack you. I'm like, okay, come on. I've never uh, seen that. Oh, we used to have them back in our house in Chelmsford. They're like these big, I used to kind of run over them just on, on purpose, like these uh, huge ant hills. Like, oh, well, not huge, but they were very big. They're like these black ants, very aggressive. Oh, black or red? Because one of these the- ones, These ones are black. One of the homeschool moms, they can't go in their backyard because the ants are so bad and they bite, like they're biting ants. Oh, it's not the fire one, well, not. We're not in Arizona, so well, no, they're not know. fire ants. But anyways, there's something like biting can't ants. Go, like I'd be like, well, because there's the ants everywhere, they can't go outside. Well, then kill biting. them. Well, I don't think they want to. You have to have heavy duty pesticides, I guess. Well, no, but just get like their natural predators. Just get an ant eater out there. <laughs> I was say, <laughs> just like an armadillo back yeah, there. Why not? I was just like, I'm just gonna buy one from the armadillo <laughs> store, or the, the ant eater store. Because I'm just saying. They're, they're so commonly sold here in Sudbury. <laughs> Well, you know, there's a market. I'm going to open up a store. Apparently there's a market. Do you have ant problems and your name is, what's your name? Tina? I have no idea. I'm just saying That's like, not, right? No, no. Just random no. name. Um, no. Anyways. Uh, anyways. Yeah. So I used to run over the lawnmower on these things. <laughs> they, they swore about it. Be like, eh, and then I'd run away. <laughs> Why well, would I run away? I just finish the lawn. I just watch them. I used to always watch animals and, and this bug is, them. And and this and, is the first step. Yeah. And you becoming serial killer. Well, why are you laughing? You're the one who's with me. I think you should be careful. You know, might, <laughs> well, might not. Uh, yeah, you should be. You might not. Uh, might not survive the night. Might survive the rest of this episode. <laughs> and coincidentally, oh. this is our final episode of the show. By the way, if you haven't noticed, 
<laughs> we will be moving on to other things. Some of us will be moving on. Others will just be okay. okay. Just All right. deceasing, you know. All right. So, <clears throat> so advice. So or... was like, do, you, do you have any points of time? Or is this just a broad? Yeah, no, no, no. Because no. um, I think. Yeah, look at your notes. <laughs> No, so I think, I think um, there's a lot of things that can make it really difficult to kind of keep your marriage alive and focus on each other. Because I think when you initially have kids, it's difficult because you're tired all the time and you're like looking after this little kid's needs, this little being's needs and everything else is like background noise. Yeah. So that's, that's difficult. And then... If you neglect that and then, you know, neglect, neglect each other. Yeah, yeah. As time goes on, it just becomes a pattern, right? I, I might. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, go. Can I jump in? I like, can I jump in? So I don't know. You might not like what I have to say. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll just, I'll just throw it out there. Yeah. So and we've talked about this time and time again, I think not regarding to this specific topic, but just about marriage in general. Yeah. It's just all about communication. Yeah. stuff, And obviously yeah, that's yeah. like the number one thing. But I think this goes for me anyways. Um, again, I guess it's maybe more hindsight is 2020 and things are, you know, things maybe get, I find things could get easier sometimes in terms of learning how to deal with certain things yeah. um, because you've been through that. You've had that experience, I guess. So I, what I'm trying to say is that I think people tend to overcomplicate things a little too much and you have certain people on one side of the fence where you like, like the Instagram is in the Facebooks or whatever that they post only the best and they make sh like yeah. life look, eh, everything's of cupcakes course. and rainbows and oh, parenting. Oh, you know, this picture of this course. one person breastfeeding and there's a rainbow behind her and she's all got like leaves and, and whatever all of over course. her. Like you see, I was like, what, of course. what is this? So like everything's perfect. And then you have the other end of the spectrum where, these people are bashing these people saying, oh, no, it's terrible. It's like, ah, I have to have a drink every night to calm my yes. nerves because it's so bad. Kids are screaming there's diapers everywhere and everything's <laughs> chaos. You know what I mean? But it's like of the course. opposite. And it's like it's in the middle and it's like it's not as bad as everyone thinks and it's not as great as everyone thinks. thinks. But Agreed. you make do with what you have and you just do the best and you enjoy the time while you have it. And... We've said, I said this sometime before, but like raising little kids, it's not that difficult and it's not that hard. You just have to communicate with your partner and make sure that everyone's on the same page and have a schedule or something. Or just get the stuff that needs to get done to get it done. I yeah. mean, babies, I mean, they eat, they sleep and they shit and like that's it. Right. So yeah. like just take care of that stuff and everything's fine. And if one person's tired or one person needs to do cooking or whatever, then I don't know. You just work it out, right? But I, like it's. But I think. But I think this is the point, and this is why. Okay, fair enough. Sure. What is? Well, I guess this is the point. Is is sometimes when you're in a relationship, you're married, whatever. Before you have kids, you each have you each bring your own set of strengths and weaknesses to the table, and little flaws that when you're just a couple, it's not a big deal. But the minute you throw a baby or a child in there, then the flaws become a big deal. And I think that's why a lot of people get divorced is because those flaws and those weaknesses are not worked against. Well, so an example. <laughs> okay. We are complete opposites in many ways. I'm crazy, super organized. That's I, I, You're saying I'm, I am crazy, super organized too in my own way, in my own things. Yes. Okay. So don't say, don't say I'm you not are. organized. However, when it comes to like household stuff, you're not neat and tidy and you don't you don't put things away and it just drives me crazy. You, so I, when we were... I'm not... See, this, we're going to get into so, trouble. This is our last episode. So, so when we had little, little ones, it would drive me crazy because it's like I need things put away. It helps me feel better sure. to have things like neat and tidy. And that was one thing that... Well, the one thing that we've talked, and I'm sure I've come a long way and you've come a long way too in terms of not being so crazy about it and me yeah. not being so bad at leaving like my socks lying around or yeah, whatever. Right. For sure. But it comes with, this is what I, I've always had this hard time with you was saying you would come to me and say like, this is so messy or whatever. I can't stand this. This is crazy. 
And I would literally be like, I don't even know what you're talking about because to me, no, no, all this no, is I serious. Know. I know. To me, I don't see it as messy. I see it as like, it's in its place. It's where it's supposed to be because where yeah. I know, you know what I mean, I right? Like, mean. oh, these shoes are in the way. I'm like, to me, they're tucked on the side or whatever, but you're like, no, they have to be a specific, specific spot yes. or whatever, right? Yeah. So you're getting mad at me for something that I'm like, I literally don't know how to solve the problem. Yeah. And how I approached it to you, I say, okay, listen, you have to help me understand what it is that you're seeing yeah, that's bothering sure. you for so sure. that I know how to fix it. Because sure. you see a mess, I don't see a mess. For and there's sure. other things that can be flipped over on of my course. side where I see a problem, but you don't see a problem. Of course. And it bugs me instead of me just getting mad at you, which solves nothing. Of course. I have to say, listen, you're doing this all the time and it's bothering me. I think you don't know that it's bothering me and because you're obviously you're repeating, you're, you're yeah, doing it all, all, the time. all the time. So can you not do that? Here's what you're doing. Lay it out. Of course. So you lay it out for me. And then finally, you know, it gets me. Sometimes it takes a while sometimes. Sure. But because of course you're trying to maybe well, break habits, right? When you're breaking habits, it takes, takes, a, it takes while. a while. And, and this is, uh, this is another point I want to in, <clears throat> interject here a little bit saying, I hate it when couples talk about, oh yeah, I had to, I had to train my husband or I had to train this person to do that. Well, it's maybe I only hear women say, say this, like, oh, I have to train my husband yeah. to do this. It's like, you're not animals. You're not. I, I hate people when they talk about like, uh, it's the battle. You got us here starts the battle. It all starts. It's like, I know some people say it as a joke, but marriage is a team. It's yeah. like, it's like you're on a team. If you're not on the same team, then what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Like if you're not, mm. yeah, teammates fight and stuff, it happens. Um, Someone drops the, end, the ball. But at but the end of the, the day, point. you're a team. You're not enemies. Yeah. It's not like, oh, yeah. the battle begins. It's like, what battle? This is not a, a struggle. It shouldn't be a struggle. No. Nope. Um, it should be an adventure that you go together. And so that hopefully, because that's the thing, I guess if you're struggling all the time, then as you grow, because everyone grows and changes, you're just going to grow, grow apart. apart. But if you're going through everything together and you're having your adventures and you're, you're growing together, you, you grow together mm -hmm. and you just, you, your bonds and whatever well, stuff that you have. Sorry. This, I could I could do um, these other things with my fingers, kind but, of getting but I'm just excited. interlacing my fingers together saying that the stuff it's together. It's about spirit. It's about passion. It's about butthole <laughs> so pleasures. It's not about butthole pleasures and rusty trombones. Rust and, anyways, 40 year old virgin there. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so you grow together and, and anyways, I was totally aside about yeah. how people talk. So <clears throat> yeah, so you teach me and help me understand stuff that bothers yeah. you. And I do the same thing. And then that's, yeah. that's how we deal with those kind of things. Well, yeah. And this goes back to, I guess, raising kids and I don't know, like you, you, you need some time cause you're tired or whatever. You don't want to deal with the, the crying babies and I'll take over and you know, well, we, and I think we work to our strengths and weaknesses depending yeah. on like you're the only well, one who could breastfeed. So you're taking care of that equipment. duty. And then yeah. I maybe, I don't know what I was doing. Actually, I was a student, so I don't know. That was kind of crazy, well, but it's another issue. Well, yeah, no, <laughs> and, well, yeah, but I think that, I think that, yeah, that's the, the biggest thing. That's like the number one, right. Is it's always about communicating and it's always about, and I know sometimes I was definitely passive aggressive with you, like definitely passive aggressive. And that helps no one. And in fact, it even is harmful. No, it's, it's, very harmful. It's, a, it's a horrible thing to be. Passive aggressive is horrible. Mm -hmm. But I think that comes from a place where you're resentful and resentment is a horrible feeling. It's a horrible feeling to have. And you so, had no reason to resent me anyways. No, but I'm just saying. But you did. But, but I'm just, but I'm just saying like, I think, I think I was also dealing with some other issues well, at the time, but. Um, but I think yeah. that's why having personal, but understandable and we work through it together. Mm -hmm. well, but I think my stomach just went really loud. I'm going to say I heard that. I don't, you, you heard that? That's probably on the mic. You're hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Hangry. But, but that's what I think is I think, and for me, I'm the type of person where it's really hard for me to ask for help, even from you. Well, it's that's like another problem. It's extremely... That's something I have to work on. That's, it's like a work in progress. But this is ridiculous. And I guess but, in my point of view is that... Because we talk about things, so we know mm -hmm. each other's strengths and weaknesses. And your your weakness is asking for help, which is ridiculous. Yeah. 
because I'm always telling you to ask me for help. And that's how I tell you that that's how we're going to move forward in things. Oh, I know, Like, I know. if you don't ask me, I don't know. No. And then if I don't know, you're going to get angry yeah. inside. Well, of course. And then, and like, one day you're going to come up to me and be like, ah, and snap. Yeah. Just I'm using yeah. stupid terms now. But and be, I'm like, what the hell? And you're like... Wow, there was like two weeks of stuff. This, 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 this and, and this. It's like, no, okay, no, well, but I've that's like, not how, what am no. I, what do you want me to do? And like, I've gotten like a million times better, like a million times yeah. better. Usually the minute, the second something pisses me off, I tell you. And then, or, and or I, or I take a little bit to cool down and then I talk well, to yeah, you about it. The thing it. Like, to it, it's like how you approach <clears throat> something that's bothering you and how you talk about yeah. it. If you talk about it calmly, you're going to get a calm reaction. If you just go and be bitch, like, ah, yeah, what the hell did you do that? Then that's you're going to get cool. a bitch reaction. That's not cool. That's true. Um, but that's, but that's what I'm saying is like, you really have to, like the other person is not out to get you. And I think this is something well, you always tell me too, is we're on the same team. That's what we just like, talked about. We're teammates. We're not, uh, let's like, uh, you, gotta need, win the you, battles, need to, you, you need right? to tap, you need to tap out. Let's the tap out. Like tap, not tap out. Tap out is like don't when, tag when, out. when tag you're out? Uh, is it doing tag jujitsu, out? you, you tap, out. tap out. That's like you it's lose. Tag out. Yeah, it would tag, tag team. Out. I don't know the wrestling, right? When you I don't know. Tap just tag, tag team. It's all sound on me. Tag team. Tag team. That sounds <laughs> Okay, well, geez, you're the one who's having the wine here. Everything Anyways. everything I say has got some kind of sexual overtones with you. Just because I make these gestures with my fingers <laughs> interlacing together in rhythmic motions doesn't mean uh Oh, it's just no. There's nothing. Right. Hey, listen. Okay. I know where your mind um, is. But then I think then going back to strengths and weaknesses, I think that's yeah. something should we even be talking about this in the sense that our audience might not understand that I don't have any weaknesses oh, fuck. and that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just not, okay. Oh, we should. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Keep going. We'll pretend that I have weaknesses. Go ahead. What you got? What you got? <laughs> oh, you're so. Oh, my weaknesses. I'm too perfect. <laughs> Weakness number one. You're an arrogant motherfucker. My weakness number two. <laughs> What I'm saying is, I should do that at an interview. I should go to an interview. What's your greatest? What is your greatest weakness? That I don't have any. <laughs> or what was it the greatest strength? What do the people? Do we, why do people even ask these stupid questions? It's stupid. Like, what's your greatest strength that I have too much of strength, <laughs> or I have no weaknesses? Um, oh, I remember those questions. Oh, what did you? Do? I'd always say like, oh well, you know, I'm such a perfectionist where. I just always have to get it done and I just want to get it done so well that I just, I just pour all my, you know, all my energy into getting it yeah, done. Yeah. But, you know, I also realize that sometimes work needs to move forward and, you know, sometimes you have to get stuff done. So, you know, you do the best you can and you, you go on to the next thing. But I, I mean, you know, it's like, I hate I interviews. I thought I read somewhere about interviews just like kind of dying and how people interview. And I always of know course. for me, I interviewed co-op students and other people and other people for other jobs and I would just never I would just I'd be like what do you like to do like what's tell me your story I'm I like, worked I worked at a staffing agency and I interviewed hundreds of people I uh, never asked that question once well because you guys not even uh, once like what because you guys had a list of questions that you had to ask anyways right like you we guys were did but then there was like then it was just like feel it out on your own oh and then you, you can ask questions and I never asked those questions because they're fucking stupid like what questions? What's your greatest strength? What's your greatest weakness? Oh, I no, never no, no. Asked that. Oh, I thought you meant like the questions I asked. Like, <clears throat> no, no, I never asked that. For me, I was always like, because some, I think there was one, someone I interviewed, she played on like Team Canada for like hockey or something. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, the first question, like, tell me all about this. What was uh, going yeah. on? Yeah, of course. And there, she was like, okay. What? Just, oh, everyone's thrown off for a loop. They're like, oh, I want to answer this and that. It's like, don't, uh, Anyways, 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 so but anyways, but what, what, what I was going to say is, is I think, you know, your partner's strengths and your partner's weaknesses, oh, yes. you, you know, your own strengths, strengths and your own weaknesses. weaknesses. So then play to that. If your partner's having trouble with something, then step in. If you know that that's your strength and you can help out. Like, I know you're not the greatest at being tidy. So that's why okay, I step in. Okay, look at this house, though. It's like you think, they say, like, I'm this slob, though. Like, but seriously, you're I'm not, not that you're bad. You're not a slob. Compared to, like, I'm probably in the 99th percentile. Mm. But you're in the, like, 105th percentile, which I don't know how that's possible. That's just how I... But some of the stuff, though, with you, the way you clean, you have a weird 
Yeah, see, you know what I'm going to say. You're like, oh, shit. We're talking about parenting right now, not about cleaning. It's all part of the package. It's all part of the package. And then some of your stuff, though, is just like out of sight, out of mind, out of sight, or out of sight, out of mind, whatever. Who's not the wine? No, okay. Well, I'm just saying. You know, I don't, you know, I don't do sayings very well. Mm hmm. So sometimes, like, wow, this place is so clean. And, like, open up the closet and then, like, the avalanche of stuff. Because you just throw that it in the closet. Like, that, oh was in our, that was in our first apartment. That has not happened, <laughs> that has not happened since. It's imprinted in it's my brain as in this happens all the time. Yeah. But I'm just like, this what is co- not clean. What closet? We don't have any closets house in this clean. house. How is clean? We don't have any closets in this house to it's do that. It's the metaphorical that. closet of the avalanche <laughs> okay. of stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, you uh, have to com- help, com- help each other compensate. Com- 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 <laughs> All right. Compensate. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is you help each other compensate. Um, you think he's compensating for something. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, and I think for us, like the secret to our success, the we, secret sauce. we've been, t- we've been together for almost 19 years. It'll be 19 years this year. I don't know. I just know it was 1999. Yep. So it'll be 19 years this year that we've been together. We've been married for 13 years this year. You well, look don't at even me know. for like actual. You don't even know. Do you want me to validate these That's numbers? That's what it is. Okay. Well, then there you go. Then um, how you, you're looking at me like, yes. Hoping that there'd be some recognition in your eyes being like, yeah, totally remember those days. I don't know. Totally. What's so else? Do we got married in 2006 and it's 2018? Anyways. Yeah, no, that's that's wrong. Anyways, and we've gone through some crazy shit with kids. Yeah, maybe. A little bit. And well, so, yeah, like I said, sometimes <laughs> it's not as bad. It's never as easy, never as hard. Well, having a but child yeah, we've got having f- well, I mean, having a child with special needs is an extraordinary yeah. parenting challenge. And I think But now a hundred percent of kids have something. <laughs> Fuck. It's true. Every single kid is disabled in some way now, considering if you listen to the social justice people, everybody has a disability. Okay, well, we're not talking about the social justice douchebags. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just, I'm just but, what I'm, but what I'm saying, and you came up with this, is we have, we had no one to take care of the kids ever, really, that mm-hmm. was in town, ever. And we had to kind of do what we need to do. And so we had had to figure figure it, we had to figure it out on our own about how we were going to find time for each other, just the two of us to Mm -hmm. unwind. And so that's when we came up, you came up with the date night. Yeah. Which is hardly a novel thing, but I had never heard of it. But it is, but I tell people like I had a couple people ask me if I could go for coffee or there's a homeschool mom's thing tonight. Yeah. And I'm like, "Mm, can't go. It's date night. Uh This night is sacred. And they say, and they're like, Oh, Oh, that's so cute. Really? You guys do that? Oh, it's a novel thing. There's a movie called Date Night. I thought everybody but, has but this. We don't go out is the point, right? We don't go out. We don't have a babysitter. It's just at home. We sit at home. Uh-huh. We have a couple of drinks. We make pizza. We watch a movie. That's what we do. And people oh, don't. you're not going to continue? We need to. Keep it PG, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. people just don't take that time, right? We keep it PG. How many F bombs are you dropping every time? I'm sorry. Keep okay, it, okay, well, I don't want it, it I don't want it to be X rated. <laughs> keep it R, not N C seventeen. Okay. Whatever it is. But you know what I'm saying? But I think that's but I think that's always we go through the week, especially when the kids were in school and shit was crazy. Mm-hmm. But it's just like you kind of get to the end of the week and that was our deal. We were able to decompress with each other yep. and review shit. And well, this is kind of where this kind of stemmed, stemmed from, from too, too. Because it's yeah. been and now every can, week for forever. Yeah. Or every Friday night that we talk about just yeah. everything and anything basically. But it was just really good to like. Recon- every once in a while it ended an epic fight. Every once in a while. Well, of course. Like twice. Yeah. yeah. Once because we were talking. <laughs> what was it? It was, uh. I think it was Christianity versus Islam, like which was worse or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was that was bad. You you ran off somewhere. I was like, I'm leaving. Because you were being slam the door. So unreasonable. <laughs> oh, I was. I think I was being very reasonable. That's another one of my strengths. I'm a completely reasonable person. Nope. Oh. <laughs> but any. But anyways. But, but my whole point uh, is like we take the, t- the whole point is like 
you need to take the time for each other, Mm -hmm. regardless of what's going on. And even if you can only grab like a coffee together, at least it's time, just the two of you. Put the kids in their playpen. Put them in their rooms. Do something. <laughs> I don't Lock know. Them up. Lock them Lock up. Lock up your kids. Just have a coffee together. If that's all you can get, that's all you can get. But I yeah, guarantee I mean, it's going to help. I think everybody's different <laughs> and every relationship is different with how much time they would need. But I mean, I would recommend at least one night without thinking about somehow. I mean, it, it's harder when the kids are younger if they're still waking up oh, or what have well, you. Yeah, of course. Um, but if you can get one night where you get, you know, a good three, four hours where you can just sit the two of you and talk about something yeah. other than parenting or, or you know, but your, your you, life in general. But even if just, you do talk about the kids. No, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's try still, not to, but I just, I don't, I hate when people say it because it's just like, you know what, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom, that's kind of your life. It's, but... And you don't no, have a I, lot. I know, I'll, I'll, I'm going to disagree with you because it's the same thing when you talk about work. It's like, even if you love your job and you love everything about it, you yeah. still need to like take a couple hours and just play Xbox or something and just to not think about it because then you could repro- you can, especially if you're having problems, you can approach them from, um, you just step away and then you can see the picture in a different I light. Know, so I let's know, just step away. And I'm just saying, I know okay, what, we're, I think we're arguing over like minutia here. Are, I'm not but, arguing but, at all, but just saying like, just... Take a step back, like you said. Chill out, have a go drinks, watch a movie, watch a yeah, game. Yeah. Go go to a, go to go to an OHL game or something. Just go to, do just do go something. Watch some high school football or just something. Do, or whatever just you're do into. Something. And then yeah, you don't have to. Yeah. Think you're talking. You yeah. Imagine this or that. Yeah. Oh, Ali lost a tooth. Ah, that was great. Remember? Ah, but like, we'll be like, oh, what are we gonna do next week for? Oh no this, no, that. no, like, no, no, on, no 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 just, just or just only talk about like, I think that that was too, like I try not to talk about stuff with the kids. Like when we first started and they were smaller, but if I did, I always tried to make it like positive yeah, stuff. And right? then I never be- cared or, either. Or because like, because, or stuff that I wanted to tell you that, to catch you up on stuff because sure, you were working, working, right? Working like, here. and we just didn't well, have a chance. At school. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, Actually, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm thinking now? School. Now that we're talking about that, because this date night started when we're in Waterloo yep. and we pretty much always had... Not always, actually, but um, twice the deal pizza. Mm. I love that pizza. That was that is my favorite really? pizza place. They loaded. So we go to Waterloo, have twice the deal, mm. but the one on King Street, they mm. just mm. loaded up with toppings. Though it, they That's had so much not, toppings, it was so good. I don't know. I uh, like what's better. Everything else what's, is too chainy. So what's the one here? What's well, there's the, toppers, but toppers, toppers is dropping the ball lately. It's too inconsistent we, with their pizzas. It is I don't. Too uh, it's, it's sometimes it's too burnt. There's not enough toppings, and the crust is thicker. It's smaller. When we, that's what I don't our like. Our first year here, toppers was the fucking bomb. They knocked it out of the park every time we ordered. It was. It's not every so time because we didn't order it that often. We no, only had it like we, five times, five six times. But when we had it, it was like it was it was good. No. But then I don't know. But then later on, yeah, it was like what but is then you this? Like it like heartburn. Gross. I don't know. Yeah. It's just I don't know. No, that's the thing. Now it's like it's not and consistent. Same thing. Quality. Like we, I used to like Domino's, yeah. but again, that's a big corporate chain. That one is so inconsistent. Sometimes the crust is huge. Sometimes it's yeah. like disgusting, yeah. and it's just like. But there, it their pizzas were always consistent, mm-hmm. and they loaded. I saw them make it. They make it, and they just like throw on so much toppings, and then they have stuff all left over. They scoop it up and just throw, throw it, on. it on. They have, yeah. It, it, yeah, it was all. Yeah, it was really, really good pizza. Anyways, I'm just thinking that because I just remember that was on the stove and then the countertop and then whatever, and it mm. was just yeah. It was good times. Very good, good times, good times. And then you get some memories as long as you don't drink too much and block out. But you know, <laughs> then it happened to me. I never drink that much. Um, I've only gotten sick once from having too much, and you remember that because you had to clean it up. Sorry. Well, did you not get sick twice in Ottawa? Did you throw up? Shit, at all? yeah. So twice. That was different. That, yeah. I'll save that story for another day. That's another, yeah. Because that, that's, that's going to have, that's going to be a big story for one of these days. What happened there in Ottawa. Yeah. In uh, yeah. the winter of 2012, that was very in the, and then this, the new year of 2013, that was a, my, that whole year. That whole, that, not even that whole year, Fuck but just that, that whole. but that whole, no, it was a great, if it, if that never happened, we would never be where we are today no, because I'm true. glad it happened because I never would have gotten these other opportunities anyways, that I have. Anyways, but, we, we don't. But the one, the other one was when we won the championship division for ball hockey, like the top tier. So it was called the all-star division. That's right. 
<laughs> I said, no weaknesses here. I just play at the all-star level. Anyways, it's intramurals. It's ridiculous. Um, so we won. And then we went out celebrating. And <laughs> yeah, it was just like, it's not, I didn't even think that I had that much. But I think what what it was, was that like every drink was different. Like it was just different mm-hmm. types of beer. Like it was dark, light, whatever. And then I was like, oh, I went to bed and I felt felt fine. And then I, I think I got up. I'm like, I th- think I'm going to be sick or something. And I was walking. It was like, bleh. I, then, I didn't <laughs> even. F- like, uh, it was like cat vomit. Okay. That's gross. But it was like this like little. Like, it was, was it just a little bit? Much. Oh, I thought it was huge. <laughs> there you go. See? But I was just I like, oh. Because I, I think it just huge. came out as I was getting up and it was reflex. Oh, yeah. I, it was like right in like, because we had our bedroom. Yeah, I was that walk in closet, closet in between. And then bathroom. And it was like all in the oh, closet. Oh, so it was a lot? You said it wasn't that much. Yeah. It was, but it still looked like cat vomit. It All was right. weird. Anyway, so I was, and then I didn't do anything else. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I just, yeah. I don't know what happened. It's like, it's fine. It's yeah. My job. Yeah. Anyways. We're Anyways. talking about sharing responsibilities for parenting. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I can't deal with, which we haven't had very much of, thankfully. But like. Vomit. Puke. Like, I, no, I can't deal with it. When we've. But you when do we, it. I can't. We've had it. I've had it. We had it one time with both kids. Maya, I remember she threw up. Yeah. She threw up in her bed. Yeah, 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 she threw up in her bed and she didn't tell us. Yeah. That was awful. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyways. But anyways, it's not fun to clean up. Yeah, it happens, which is fine. And I'm not a big fan of the poo, although. I'll handle that. I remember, I remember the first time we, kids, the, we called them the explosions <laughs> when, when kids, when kids get constipated or whatever, but then they're like, then, they have to come out and just like. Every, like around every, <laughs> everyone, around a house. Everyone, everyone, everyone has had that. Oh. I remember, I remember, oh my God, we first started Tristan on solids yeah. and you were at hockey and I had to deal with the <laughs> shit by myself. It was like, in, like, like everywhere, nah, like in his hair, in my hair. I'm okay, like, I don't how think, is this even? I don't know if you're exaggerating a little bit. I don't I'm know how not, it's in your hair. I'm not. It was, it was literally Everywhere it was oh, disgusting. I'm still trying to wash it off to this day. Yeah, but they're um, fun. Anyways, so then a couple other things that I think are really helpful is mm-hmm. is really making sure that you appreciate the other person for what they're doing. Even if you're pissed off at them and you don't think you're they're doing enough, you still need to praise them. It's just like kids, you gotta praise them for what they're doing. So even in the smallest possible thing you can find to be grateful for, be grateful for and tell them that you're grateful for it. I think that's really, really important. Yeah, I mean, and and I think that comes with how you are as a person and how you are as a couple and how you choose to behave. I mean, of course, um, everyone still likes to be told that they're loved and that they look beautiful and you know that they're they're wanted and needed and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, but or even Um, or even it's like to know that that the that the effort that they're making is appreciated. So even if it's like something like dumb and small like oh thank you for like putting your glass at the counter like say it like gratefully because you're grateful that they did that like say it like you know that would have been a maybe a big step for that person but be grateful for that one little step that they sure especially if it's something that you're trying to work on together like your partner doesn't you know, put their socks away and then you see that they yeah. do that. Say like, Hey, you know, thanks so much. Yeah. I saw you do that. And yeah. Or even. I don't or, have to rag on your ass for it. So <laughs> well, yeah. Well, even <laughs> now it's like you take out the garbage. I'm so freaking thankful that you take out the garbage because it's cold as fuck outside and I don't want to take that shit yeah, out. What's the language? I have a family. Come on now. <laughs> so Seriously. I'm, so Keep I'm. PG, huh? So I'm thankful that you take out the garbage. Like that's a big deal for me. Well, I'm you thankful that out. you allow me to take the garbage out because it is my favorite thing in the world to do. Anyways, also, I don't <laughs> want to deal with maggots in the summer, so I'm also really thankful uh, I've, that I've, you... That, that happened once, and then I, I learned yeah, how yeah. to take care of those things. Yeah, yeah. So, just, um, oh, by the way, like essential oils, I'll take care of them. They won't... Uh, hashtag, just, hashtag, hashtag essential oils. Just put essential oils, like as if you have a food waste bin. So if you have a food waste bin, just drop some essential oils around the outsides, and the flies won't, they won't, they won't, won't come to it. So Maggots. Anyways. Well, it's not the maggots. It's the flies that you need to worry about. Yes. I remember the... Good thing, imagine we didn't... Good thing we didn't see the maggots when that bird got... Died in our... In our in our ceiling, in our wall. It would have been... No, it was in our wall. I don't I know where it died. I can't. It died Please somewhere. Stop. Please stop. I don't want to talk about it. Remember that? I don't want to talk about it. No, so I don't want to talk about it. I don't we want had to, this bird die in our, in our no, wall, no. In our old house. No, don't. And then it died. It was First of all, it was a big, like, week-long thing because we're, like, hearing this bird, like... Oh my God. 
slowly die a painful death in between we, the walls. We, okay, you're sounding horrible. We could not get to this poor thing. We couldn't get to oh, it. Had, yeah, we had it. And then we got it we out. It goes right not back in. Get to this stupid thing. It's horrible. It's heartbreaking. So then it dies. It's awful. And they're like, okay, well, must have died. I'm like, what's going to happen? I'm like, eh, whatever. It'll decompose. <laughs> so many bad things are going to happen. So and then, many like, bad things. Like a week and a half later, it's like I just a Stephen King novel. It wasn't that bad. So, Are you fucking? Were you there? Okay, watch I'm your language. Sorry. I'm sorry. Were you there? I'm was, just telling the story in a lighthearted like, way. So, <sighs> well, well, hang on. So then, like a week and a half later, I just noticed. Or two weeks, whatever. So I just noticed. I like I'm, we we're in the basement. We had three floors, three levels at the time: a basement, a finished basement, and then a main floor main and upstairs, upstairs, whatever. So I was in the basement because I was like our workout room and there was like an unusual amount of flies. <laughs> for the like, summer. For the summer. Because you know, maybe you get one or two that's stuck in the window. Maybe there, there was like six or seven. I'm like, oh, there's so many flies. Like, what's going on? And they're, they're all kind of they're all kind of dopey or whatever. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. Swarm. It was a swarm. And then, no, that's not the first time. The first time when I noticed it, right? There's a couple. Yeah. And then the next Whoa. day, then there was like, you know, in the basement, there's like 20 or 30 of them. I'm like, what's, why, what's all these flies? And then we just think, God. and they're like, oh, remember the bird? <laughs> oh, the maggots got to it. <laughs> That's what's happening. They're hatching. So over like the next week, <laughs> we just get this constant influx of this new hatch of these flies. <laughs> Big ass flies too. They're huge. They're not those small. <laughs> they're so huge. And then I'm like, I can't even, I can't just like fly swallow. These are just, just too many. Like there's probably like at least 50 a day, at least. Oh my so God. I'm going around, so, so I had to go around with a vacuum cleaner and I'm, I had to vacuum up all the flies. Just, okay, stop with those. It was so, so gross. Just vacuuming the flies so for like gross. a week. Just like, you'd suck up like a hundred and then like. Two hours later, I I'm know. like, why is the window still full of flies? Thankfully, they were dopey because they just Well, yeah, they were really and, like... Oh, they because they just then, went to the window and like just and then, sat there, and right? It was so I was like, like oh. And then my poor uncle, my poor uncle hadn't seen him for I don't know how many was years. Was that when Ron came? And my, That's my favorite uncle's uncle, Ron, came to stay with us all the way from BC and we had these freaking flies. They had, were pretty much done, but we're just like, oh, that's just if after you it see like, you were a lot like of flies, two days ago. like this is the crazy story. Oh, and, man. Yeah. And then the neighbor with his colonoscopy tool as we're going into, he's like, oh, this you guys have whole, a problem. So let's go take a look. Let's go see what we have. Whole, so we're going in there. He had like every tool possible. So you need to borrow a tool. You just go talk to him because he had everything. He had everything. And then he led just this camera that we took to see because he came after <clears> one of the events, one of the events for the fans, the exhaust. <clears> and then we took that thing and saw the nest inside the wall and stuff. Like, there it is. Birds. Saw like eggs, I think, never, too, or something. I, never, I don't know. I never crazy. liked birds and I... Does not endear them you to don't me. Like birds. birds are great. Never liked them. Like blue jays, cardinals, just don't. hummingbirds. They're beautiful. And I'm sure they're beautiful, but Ooh, I don't you're know. sure you know, you've never seen one before. I'm just not a big fan of birds. They're my favorite animal. All right, I'm just not. All right, well. So that's, that's that's a shame. Anyways, so that's the story of the the bird <laughs> well it's not quite the whole story but well that's a story for another day what uh, what other part of the story <laughs> well you know but the getting it out of the, <laughs> the, the mask the i have that we had it on video somewhere yeah well that's be, hilarious oh, that's another uh, i remember we showed that's, that in ottawa i think nat was watching that she was just like she laughing. couldn't stop laughing you know, i'm like why are you guys laughing at me that, so much that's a whole other story that for another day uh, um, okay always put off tomorrow what you can do today Never do that. No, it's just a, it's, it's, no. Well, it's, it's related to. Not quite. No. So. It's about being a happy marriage. That you can have adventures and laugh about them. Well, yeah, of course. But So it relates. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we done here? No. So I'm not done? All right. Um, I think. We'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have I, two I more, I have two more points. All right, let's move along. Two more points. So I think it's really important to give each other time for pursuits outside of the home. So I am super supportive of you going out to play hockey whenever you, you have a chance. now because I never play anymore. <clears throat> oh, do, do, well, we, that's true. do we need to rehash the whole hockey thing about how you played hockey? Like, While you were in the hospital? Yeah. 
I'm, on bed rest. Yeah, on bed rest. Rest being the key word. Where there. I could have had the baby at you weren't going to any moment. Um, I'm gonna or say the day right after I I'm, had our I'm, first I'm, child. I'm going to say one word here, and people are going to understand playoffs. <laughs> You don't miss playoff games, even if your wife is even in the hospital. Even if your wife and your unborn child are at risk. No, it's fine. it's that's one fine. game, that's and it was... That's, fine. that's it. Okay. And it was great. I'm just saying, I support you yes. in that. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no, and you support me with what I want to do, and I think, that's mm-hmm. re- I think it's really important because you need to have something outside of the family. Yeah. And outside of work as well, like I've said, I think that's mm-hmm. really important. So that's important. And then last point. <laughs> that That's all you want. That's it. Do you want <clears> me to <throat> add anything to that? Do you want to add something? No. Okay. I just, if you want me to, I will. Go ahead. No, you don't want oh, me to. Okay. Okay. So I no, won't. If you, no, if you do, uh, if you do, then go ahead. Do you have something to add? No, it's good. You nailed it. Good okay. job. <laughs> <laughs> so then the last point is, is regardless of what stage of parenting you're in. I thought you were saying stage evolution. I'm thinking stage two. I got Pokemon on my mind. You got Pokemon. Oh my goodness. No, I'm saying whatever stage of life your kids are in, that stage is not going to last forever. So whatever challenges you're dealing with and whatever issues you're dealing with with your child yeah. that's like affecting your marriage. It's just going to get worse. <laughs> right? Oh, that's not what you're going to say? No. Little people, little problems. As they no. get bigger, their problems get bigger. And it gets worse. No. We're here to tell you. <laughs> I heard that. What? Your stomach. No, that was not my stomach. Oh, did you just like scratch your, your yeah, jeans or something? No, no, my... Oh, maybe it was yeah, like a jean scratch. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. No. It gets worse. Mm, some things get better. <laughs> some things get worse. <laughs> But I'm just, but I'm just saying, whatever, whatever stage you're in is, it's not going to last forever, and things are going to get better. And and I think you need to manage your expectations yeah. for whatever stage of life. You can't expect to, when you just have a baby, to be having sex all the time. That's not going to happen. Like you need to manage mm. those expectations. It's just that's what it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess if you're, if you're going to talk about that, I guess it would depend on. I mean, what was the frequency you'd, you would have sex before you had that kids? Too, and then right? That too, right? That too. Is it like six months later and it's not even a close to where it was before? Then you need to talk. Of course. Then you need to well, have no. some things. Of, but Well, no, of course, of course. But, what I, but that's not quite what I'm talking about. I'm just saying like you just need to think about where you well, yeah. are and well, things you don't and then want manage to where you're... have sex right away after. Well, no, that's not. <laughs> course, I, nobody I does. Well, some people do. It's like a hot dog down the hall. Maybe sneak through the back door. <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I went there. I went there. Uh, you totally went there. No, but, but I'm just saying, just manage expectations and just like ride, like ride it out. <laughs> if it sucks, like just embrace the suck and. Why you keep <laughs> ride, ride it, out. it out and pound that <laughs> fist in there? Just plow right uh, through. No, no, just, just it's, <laughs> it's, it's not gonna last forever, and just you know. Try to have the grace to get through it. Yeah. And I'll just say that uh, in no way are we qualified to give any advice for anything. <laughs> so don't all. take any of this not seriously. Not at all. Because not at this all. does not apply to whatever situation you're in right now. No. no. <laughs> Full disclaimer. Full disclosure. Um, but, at the, but at the same time, we've gone through some shit. So yeah. we, we have a little bit of experience. Oh, no, for too. sure. And like, I, like I said, I would always love, I'd love it if, if we'd have people that would... I, like literally ask us questions and we could answer them half serious and half joking and just have some fun with it. But of maybe give at least our take on, you know, what we would do in that situation. Mm-hmm. But or what we do or what but we've alas, done. We don't have any questions coming in. So what can Sigh. you do? What can you do? What can you, do? you can just <clears throat> hope for the best and forget mm-hmm. the rest. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. But anyways, just, um, Think about your partner and think about what they're going through yeah. and empathy. try to empathize with them and have, have empathy for them, with there them, you go. to them. I don't <laughs> even know. Whatever you have to do with empathy, I don't know what you do with it, but mm. you do something with it that mm. makes you think about other people and 
just if they're special to you, make them feel special. Make sure that they know it. Make sure that they understand mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And just take time for each other, I yep. think. Yeah. And make sure whatever your needs are. I mean, um, I think I was going to mention this earlier. I think the number one reason why divorce happens on the men's side is lack of sex. And then I think on the women, what is it on the women's side? I don't know. Is it like not enough money or trust or, oh, oh I can't remember what it is. That was the case. To, it I'm going to have to go been. look at that. And say, okay, come on now. We have too much money. Are you kidding me? No, I, th I think it's, I think, I think women a lot of time feel a huge burden of having to have a job, take care of the kids and maintain the house. Wow. That's why when you sweep for me, you do anything around the house for me, it's the sexiest thing yeah, you could well, do. Well, I do lots of stuff around the house. You do. Um, but my point being is that like for guys, if that's your biggest problem, you got to have open communicate. You have to say like, listen, I'm not getting satisfied. This is a problem. And if it's not going to get resolved, then I'm going to have an affair or whatever. Or I'm thinking about it. So okay, that's well, a problem. I'm just saying that's what the guy, but they're not going to. Don't say it like that. No, but I'm just totally saying yes, that. Yes. What is, I'm just saying that that's the number one cause of why men well, divorce is because they, have, they have, they have an affair or whatever. Well, yeah. No, I agree. And there's a reason for that. Uh, well, and, I agree. Uh, I'm, again, I, again, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm no, sure you, like a big do, reason it, it is it the is fact big, that it is a big reason that men aren't communicating <laughs> their needs to their wives or for whatever reason, they're not on the same team or whatever. So they can't yeah, talk they, about things yeah. and, yeah. and, or maybe that person just doesn't like, you know what? They're just like, I don't really like you anymore like that. And it's like, okay, well then people grow apart. Yeah. You know what? Marriage. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get, let's get, let's get right in the meat. The meat and potatoes. The, <laughs> meat potatoes Should okay. people even really be married these days? Okay, I don't know. honey, this is not you know, what. Let's get. Let's let's break it down. What are we? What are we? Almost an hour in. Now we're getting started. Now we're getting started. All right, let's talk. <laughs> let's talk. <laughs> Welcome to the well, well and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. R. Kelly Real Talk. We are. Uh, oh, ooh, <laughs> you, you brought the Kells into this situation. It's about you, to get. Uh, it's about to get mm. down. Have you heard his real talk? Because damn. It's real? <laughs> yeah, real dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Hey, you said it, my you friend. You said it, my friend. All right. Anyways, Anyways. Um, we shall crisp high five crisp this high one. Five it. Since uh, I don't want to, but okay, you a little off That's to the side. That's a good but one. Oh, my God. Good. It's good. It's good. It's good. You're rearing a little bit, but hey. It's know. all right. It's all good. Can you do that still? Are you okay? That's close enough. All right. Good job. Good job. All right. All right. Well, that was tasty mm -hmm. to the ears, I hope, for Hopefully. you out there listening. Yeah. If it's not, off the rails a couple times, but it's no, all good. No, it's not. There is no, there are no rails. You can't go <laughs> off the rails when there are none to begin with. So it's true. I like it that way. Take that for <laughs> however way you want. <laughs> I don't know. All right. right. So thanks. Once listening. again for listening, watching, mm -hmm. or whatever it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next week. See you next week. 